Gen 2 by Runway ML is definitely one of the leading AI tools. Every day we're seeing amazing AI videos coming from the AI generative community. In today's video, we're just going to look at Runway ML and see how easy it is to generate some AI videos. And without wasting any of your time, let's check this out. Gen 2 works in three ways to generate videos. There's text to video, and then there's image to video, and lastly, there's image and text to video. Before you start generating any videos, there's a few settings that you should know about. If you click on this little button here, this is where you can find something like your seed number. You can keep your seed number if you want, or you can let Runway ML generate a random seed number for you every time it generates a video. But if you want to keep a consistent look and feel to your videos and you want to use a specific seed number, this is exactly where you need to change that. Next, we have the interpolate button, which helps you to smooth out your frames. You can have this on or off, depending on what you want. There's also an upscale button, which helps to automatically enhance your video resolution again you can have it or you cannot have it and lastly we have the remove the watermark option which is available if you have a paid version but if you have a free version then this option is not available to you next on the setting we have this button here which is for general motion this helps you to increase or decrease the intensity of motion in your generations the higher the value the more motion you will get on your generation and the lower the value the less motion you will have in your generations next on the setting we have camera motion runway gives you more control when it comes to camera motion if you choose that you want the camera to be going horizontally depending on how intense this bit is if you leave it there it will have less intensity on the camera motion but if you move it all the way there the more intense the camera movement will be and that goes to that side as well this goes if you're using the zoom the more you go the more the zoom will be as you can see from this section here you go horizontal you go vertical you go tilt you go pan you go row and you go zoom and in each of them options you can go either way by specifying the movement of the camera and the intensity of the camera it will give you that feeling that you're actually filming and it's not an AI video I've got this little video here that I've prepared that it might show you what I mean it's just a quick video anyway all right Next, we have the motion brush, which gives you more control over objects and sections in your video. This works by simply painting over a section or an object, then assigning the motion direction and the speed intensity. And you'll get something like what you can see on a video right now. With all that said and done, let's start having some fun and start generating some AI videos. And for the text to video, we'll try an aerial shot of a volcano erupting from a distance. And for this, we can choose the motion level to be around 7. And the camera motion will go for zoom out. And I'll save that one. And I have an option to choose the aspect ratio. I'll go for 4 by 3. For this, I'll click free preview. So Runway ML can generate a base image that I can choose from before I start generating my video beautiful beautiful images and for this let's go with this one and i'll click generate it'll start generating and if i come down here i'll see the video is already generating i love love this video it's amazing it looks exactly like the preview that we got the output for it is just ridiculous it's amazing good quality love it another thing that runway ml does is that it gives you the option to extend your video and make it longer so for this all we have to do is click on extend and the video will be extended to eight seconds so four plus four eight seconds click on that and then if i go down here i will see a new video that's eight seconds and it's now being generated 
all right here we go we've got our eight second video the only thing that i have to say about the extended videos is that they tend to lose their quality at least this is something that we're able to do and in time just like the improvements that we've seen with ai i'm sure this can only get better and maybe we can even make 10 minutes clips who knows on to the next all right let's try another text to video so this time we can do a beautiful house in a snow covered neighborhood and for this we can have motion level let's do nine and for the camera we'll try something like let's do tilting and let's go to the extreme bit of it which is quite a lot of intensity and then i'll click on save and i'll come here at the aspect ratio and this time i will go with 16 by 9 doing the same thing again i will do a free preview and here we go we've got some images that we could choose we'll go with bada boom bada boom let's go with this one with the car outside i'll click on that one and i'll click on generate and if i go down here i can see my video being generated all right there you go there's the video exactly what i was expecting to see this is amazing that we're able to do this with just a couple of text and a few clicks here and there on to the next all right moving on let's go to image to video and i'll click on image and i just need to upload an image now that we have our image uploaded we're gonna try and play around with the motion brush and there you go with motion brush you just have to select the section that you want to move so let's say we want the clouds to move so we just select that and then which way do we want them to move you can choose horizontal like that and we'll leave it somewhere in the middle and we'll press save because we already have our image we don't have the option to preview so i'll go straight to generate the video and there we go we've got the video generating we just have to wait a few minutes and that will be done and there you go we've got the video is done as you can see the motion brush works so amazingly what i just realized is the parts of the clouds that i didn't select are literally still they're not moving at all but then the parts that i selected they're moving amazingly that's something to be aware of and then another thing it's best not to do too much in one image if you decide you're going to move a certain section just move that section if you try and do a bit too much then it ends up sort of getting confused and you're not going to end up with whatever you're looking for or you want to do other than that amazing generation and i love that all right so let's play around with another image to video this time i've already added an image and i'm gonna try and add a bit of the general motion so i'll leave it something like on eight and when it comes to the camera motion i'll leave it and then i'll come back to the brush motion and what i would love to do i would love to add a bit of movement on this side i don't know how it's gonna come out but let's just try it out and with that we want it to come hmm let's try vertical but then that means the water is gonna be going that way but i've just done a horizontal one but you know what let's just see how it goes we're just playing around with it another thing you need to be aware if you want to reduce the size of the brush all you have to do is just come here and the size will reduce and you can select if it's a smaller section that you want with that said and done we're gonna save that and we're just gonna click on generate and we'll just see what we get and there you go our video is generating all right here we go we've got the video i like it the lady's moving but the water is moving a bit crazy so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna try and make a few changes and see if i can correct the water because i was trying to do something different all right what i'm gonna do i'm literally gonna go back here and i'm gonna do a horizontal and i'll leave it there and i'll make sure this in the middle and then so we've got the horizontal i'll click on save and i'm gonna let our runway generate for me another video and hopefully this time is gonna be a bit different all right and there you go the video is generating much 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 better there you go we've got the water moving the way it should be moving the image of the lady moving is a bit mm. but again this ai tools they're improving so quick so it's just a matter of time before the quality improves and everything else is the past okay, let's move on to the last step of this which is image and text to video i've already uploaded the image which is of a river flowing down the forest and for this i'm gonna choose a general motion for it which i'm gonna leave it as nine because i want it to be a bit intense hopefully and for the camera motion i'm gonna go with zooming out and i'll save that for the text i will say 
a river flowing first through the forest and i'll leave it as that and i'll click generate and let's just see what we get from that all right so there we go we've got the river it's flowing it's not what i was expecting but again it's flowing on to the next i want to try this one more time but i want to try with a completely different picture i've uploaded a picture of supercar in a desert that looks like it's racing and for this i'll add the motions but i'm not gonna have the motions that much so about seven and for the camera i'm gonna choose to have a let's say something different so we'll do the rolling camera and we'll save that and for the text i'll add a sleek supercar racing across the desert kicking up a stone of sand and let's just see where that goes and i'll just generate as you can see the video is already generating all right here we go this is what we got this is not exactly a supercar racing down the desert but i know some tools that can do so much better when it comes to this but again i just want to try something i want to take out the text and i'll leave it as image and i'll just let it freestyle and let me see what it gives me again this is not what i was expecting but the camera movement is really really nice by watching this video i hope you've kind of seen what's possible when it comes to ai videos the truth is we're right in the beginning of it if you watch me journey in the beginning well let's talk about january it's december now the images are completely different in six months time who knows what we'll be able to generate but i know it will be something way better than this maybe longer videos or anything like that all right so that's that for me i hope this video will be helpful to somebody and if you like this video please don't forget to give me that like don't forget to follow if you want to see some more videos like this and have yourself a lovely lovely day my name is abigail bye bye